In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make a complex shape in Inventor. We're going to use a cup, uh, four shape tools, and we're also going to use the trim tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is Frank Carmody, and we're going to open up Part File. So we go up to the top, click the down arrow, and click Part. Our part Sketch opens right up into Sketch Mode, as you can see here. The first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. So I click click on the rectangle tool, click once, click twice to make my rectangle. I'm not going to worry about dimensioning this shape in this lesson. You need to take a couple of steps before you'll be ready to dimension a complex shape like the one we're going to make here. So let's just worry about making the shape itself. I've made a rectangle, now I'm going to add a line, a circle, and an arc. I click on the line tool, click once, click twice to make my line. You notice the green dot means I'm intersecting with the rectangle. Next, I'm going to make a circle. The green dot means I'm intersecting with the rectangle, and I'm going to put it right on the right on the corner here. Click once, pull out, click again to make my circle. Finally, I'm going to make an arc. I'm going to click once, click twice, and pull out the arc. Notice I'm looking for this little icon that's going to appear right around here. It's going to say that I'm tangent to the rectangle. I click and I'm done with my shape tools. Now I'm going to use the trim tool to take out all the lines that I don't need. Notice that once I click on the trim tool, it's the little scissors up here, I can hover over it if I'd like to read a little bit about how to use the tool. I can click, I hover over a line that I want to remove, it turn, will turn dotted, I click once to remove it. Hover over, I notice what lines are dotted, that's what's going to get removed when I click. I click to remove. Click again, click, click, hover, click, hover, and click. So here's my complex shape. Now it's your turn. Create a complex shape using the, the rectangle, arc, circle, and line tools. Then trim off the excess using the trim tool. Once you've created your shape, save it and upload it. If you forget to save, here's how you do it. I click the save icon at the top. Click OK to get out of sketch mode. Save dialog opens up. I already created this before, so I'm just going to click on the, the part file name that I wanted, which is complex shape. I click save. And there we have it. It's saved and ready to be turned in or uploaded. Now it's your turn. Create your complex shape, save it, then upload it, or turn it in however your teacher has specified. Thank you.